Hi, Gold Class Monkeys. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you about, actually, the, all this week, I'm going to talk to you about um, going green and reduce, reuse, and recycle um, ways to help our Earth. Um, Earth Day is on Wednesday, I believe, on the 22nd. And so I thought we would talk a little bit about the Earth because um, it's the planet we live on and it's important we take care of it. So um, today's book is called Miss Fox's Class Goes Green. It is by Eileen Spinelli. She wrote the story, illustrated by Anne Kennedy. So here we go. Miss Fox's Class Goes Green. The morning Miss Fox came to school on a bicycle, her students were surprised. Does your car have a flat tire? asked Mouse. No, said Miss Fox, but cars pollute the air. I've decided to drive only when I must. I am going green. sick to me said raccoon miss fox chuckled going green isn't about being sick it's about keeping our earth healthy who will help everyone piped up me wonderful said miss fox and then she wrote three things on the blackboard number one use less stuff recycle number two use less energy and number three use less water can you do it asked miss fox we can't do it the students replied miss fox pumped her fist yes we're going green frog jumped up i can use less water he grinned I can stop taking showers. Bunny pinched her nose. You will get very stinky, Miss Fox said. Frog doesn't have to stop taking showers. He can just take shorter ones. Squirrel called out. I know how to save paper. No more homework. Miss Fox smiled. That's not going to happen, but you can use both sides of the paper. Mouse said, Turn off the lights when we leave a room. Bear had an idea too. Sharpen old crayons. Now you're talking, said Miss Fox. That nice, that night, Mouse stepped into the shower. She liked long, sudsy showers with lots of singing. But Mouse was going green, so she took a short shower and sang afterwards. Raccoon was getting ready for bed. Burr, she said, it's chilly. She thought of asking her mom to turn up the heat, but Raccoon wanted to be green, so she took an extra blanket from the shelf. When Squirrel saw Super Flash Bubble Sold Buzzard Sneakers in Barney's shoe shop, he told his sister, man, I want those. Cool sneakers. But Squirrel was green now, so he had second thoughts. There is still a lot of fun and run in my old sneakers. Bunny went to the supermarket with her dad. When her dad started packing groceries in a plastic bag, Bunny said, It takes mucho years for one plastic bag to decompose. The next time Bunny and her dad went shopping, they brought along a bag made of cloth.
On Saturday, Young Bear was watching TV. His friend Possum stopped by. Do you want to play ball, he asked. Young Bear grabbed his glove and ran out the door. He was halfway down the street when he remembered something. I forgot to turn off the TV. So what, said Possum. So I'm going green, said Young Bear. Wait just a minute, I'll be right back. I'll turn off the light, too. Frog went to visit Uncle Toad. Uncle Toad had a scooter in his shed. He was giving it to Frog. Frog couldn't wait to ride that scooter. But Uncle Toad also had old jars and newspapers in his shed, and Frog wanted to be green. I can help you load those into your truck, said Frog. We can take them to the recycling center. I can ride the scooter later. At school the next day, Miss Fox's class held a toy swap. I'm tired of my sparkle yo-yo, said Bunny. I'll trade you my umbrella hat, said Raccoon. Who wants my T-Rex mask, asked Squirrel. I'll take that, said Frog. Here's my talking tomato. Day after day, Miss Fox's class made good green choices. They picked up litter from the schoolyard without being told. They planted a tree in honor of Miss Fox's birthday. One morning, the principal showed up at school on a bicycle. Look, Bunny called, Mr. Moose is going green too. The students cheered. The next day, Miss Fox's class had lots of company going green. Now it was... The whole school. So that is Miss Fox's class goes green. Thank you. So this has some really good ideas of things that you can do, that I can do, that we can all do that are pretty simple, that are good ways to um, help our earth. Um, things like turning off the light switches when we're not in a room. Um, things like... Um, you know, putting on a sweater or putting an extra blanket on our beds when it's chilly instead of turning our heat up. Um, recycling is always a really good thing to do. Um, I know I recycle, I can recycle aluminum cans and um, plastic bottles and um, papers and cardboard and stuff and I put them out and they come and get them and, and they go to a recycling plant. Um, so you can maybe help do that at your house. Um, planting trees is a really good thing to do because trees are good for our earth and good for us. Um, let's see, what are some other things they did? Um, like they had a toy swap where instead of they get new toys, they kind of swap toys with someone else who maybe has a toy they don't play with as much. Um, they rode their bicycles more and walked instead of uh, riding in cars. Um, let's see. And when you go shopping, use those cloth bags that you can reuse over and over again instead of getting the plastic bags from the stores. That's a good thing. Um, taking shorter, if you guys take showers or baths, um, taking shorter showers, using less water kind of thing. So there's a lot of simple things that we can all do that will um, help the earth and uh, be good for us all to do. So just something that I want you guys to be thinking about this week, especially since this week is Earth Day, and I will be thinking about them too. I'll share some more ideas with you. Um, I have another good book to read to you, and um, I'm going to show you 
some um, some things you can do with materials at your house to recycle or kind of reuse them in fun ways um, for some activities this week. So it's going to be a fun week. Um, but for right now, I will wish you well. I wish you well. I wish you well. All through the day today, I wish you well. Bye. I love you.